And it's the past journey to present progression. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like that for me, my mom kept me around that. Every mm -hmm. time New Edition would come to the come to Columbia, I was four CDs. Um, I was able to be around Luther Vandross. I was able to be around uh, the Isley Brothers, um, uh, Mays Feature, Frankie Beverly, all those. My mom, you know, had me around those people. You know, I got mm -hmm. to be on the tour buses and come around their autographs. Uh, Bobby Brown giving my mom seats at the concert, you know what I'm saying, and wow. being our raw bass and all that. So I got a chance to be around hip hop and R and B all my life. Wow, that's uh, that's good, bro. Well, you was you, you were exposed, very exposed at a young age, bro. So I can just imagine your perception of hip hop and just music, period. You don't look at it like the average person look no. at it or no. feel for it like the average person no. do. And it kind of segue way into my next question too, though. Like, as far as as far as your passion for it go, like, I mean, I know you're passionate for it, but do you had did you have the same amount of passion for it, like when you first started, or did you gain a little bit more passion for it as you progressed in doing it or being a part of it? Man, um. Just to go back a little bit, before I came to Washington, I was in a group with me and my cousin, you know, Rob. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, shout out to my man, uh, Paul Sampson, you know, he passed away. You know what I'm saying? But we were in a group, and we was weeks away of going to the Apollo before I just uprooted and left and came to Washington. Okay. So, we had our little singing and dance group and everything, and I was, you know, <coughs> you know on my way to go to... Um, could have been the big time, I, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? But I decided to come to Washington. Mm -hmm. But through the whole progression of um, of hip hop, or doing hip hop, or being in hip hop, I still got the hunger for it from when it started mm -hmm. to now. Wow. That you know what I'm saying? That I've been able to work with um, legends. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've had, um... What's a couple of legends you had a chance to work Man, um... When I worked with, um... A record, record label, an independent record label out here, Knock on Wood Records. Oh, I remember Knock on Wood. I was able to work with Daddy on, mm -hmm. from Stetson Sonic. Oh, You know what I'm saying? So, with that, Daddy O, coming from the era of being involved with all the hip-hop, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? taught me a lot, taught me how to train my ear, taught me how to listen to music, you know, even though you, you, you can listen, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying, when he was telling me how to listen to music and hear where that sample came from that the artist was using in the record to go back and find that old record or to find, you know, you know, that song that you said and it was teaching me. So yeah, the actual sonics of it, the actual sonics of, it. of music. Did, um, I got blessed in, 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 in another way of more knowledge of hip hop from one of the founding forefathers of hip hop was Grandmaster Cass. Right. Um, when they closed down Larry's. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, Shout out Larry's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was the, the spot. We um, opened up a new club right across from the catwalk, was called Mantra. Mantra, yep. yeah, yeah. So the night of opening that up, I had brought Grandmaster Kaz out here. You know what I'm saying? And he, he, he. I think Kaz stayed out here with us a couple of couple of days, but he, you know, he gave us the the blessings and the and the and the knowledge and the you know he gave it all. He you know he taught. <coughs> Excuse me, but you know he became you know family. Real closely because he's my youngest baby's godfather. Okay. So you know what I'm saying, Cass to be able to get on the phone and and be able to talk to Daddy O, to be able to talk to Cass, be able to talk to many of the pioneers of hip hop. You know, um, Shy Rock, Busy B. You know, I had Busy B up here. You know what I'm saying? Talk. You know, um, 
going to Magic in Vegas, going to be around um, uh, Theodore and Melly Mel and, and all them, you know what I'm saying, Cool Herc and all that. And then I became the representative of their clothing line called Cedric Casino. The present progression. The present progression. Yeah. And it's the past Turn me To present progression Yeah And it's the past Turn me To present progression